Hi guys, how are you doing? Uh, this is Cyrus from Nurture Association and welcome to yet another video in our channel. Today we're, uh, we're going to go musical. Well, um, it is my exam season, which I study um, performance of Persian traditional music in university and this is exam season and I have to play a lot of this instrument. This is my main instrument in university. So I thought it's better to make a video out of it and introduce it to you. What, what, what is this instrument? This exotic looking and exotic uh, sounded instrument, which um, this is one of the main instruments actually in Persian traditional music. And um, I, I even can say the most important one. This instrument called tar. Well, I want to talk a little bit about the structure of tar and I want to just play something with it, improvise something in, in one of Iranian's mode to, 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 to let you know this uh, music better. Well, the structure of tar has six strings, which they're in three pairs. Well, the first pair, um, we're gonna just tune them in standard C. And this is actually our main melody line, whatever we want, we, we uh, normally play it on the first pair. The second pair are going to tune in down fourth, which is going to be G. And the last two are going to play a different role here. Actually, in Western music, we, we don't have such a thing. Uh, only in Eastern music and Middle Eastern more. Uh, somehow in India, we have such, such instruments which are like this. Uh, I guess the instrument's name is Tampura, something like that with, with, with uh, Indian accent. I tried to tell you the name of it. Well, we technically call this last pair Vahun. Uh, Vahun is playing a very main role here. Why? Because this is, this is part of animal's skin, which we have it here. This is very, very thin part of their stomach, uh, mainly ships and goats. Some people use goats' stomach layers on this. And this is the bridge, which is going to connect our strings, which is this part. And when you play something on the first pair, actually the last pair is going to sound simultaneously. And that's why when we tune this in a special way, we cannot play all 12 modes of Persian traditional music at once. We only can play one of them at once. And that is very uh, different and difficult to do. Uh, actually, we can go to other scales as well, but not that freely. I mean, this is this is a modal uh, music that we're talking about. This is not tonal. It means that uh, when it's modal, uh, we play something on the first pair, and all the vibe in your head going to be only that mode, and that is what makes this instrument very special and difficult. It's not like guitar that you just can change uh, all the modes at once and going to, to each key that you like or piano or whatever. No, this is this is very difficult. This is very limited actually. Um, we have 12 different modes in Persian traditional music, which I will explain them later in separate videos. Um, uh, when I have to play them, I will play them for you and I let you to, to, to listen to my improvisation and I will put some music in the in description that you can just play um, the main and the historical uh, music from Persian com composers. But today I want to play something um, called Dashti. It is a mode which uh, normally singers are singing and we're just doing an accompaniment with, with this instrument and other instruments in orchestra. Well, Dashti has a note in it, which it is a microtonal note. It is not a semitone or a tone, but it is microtone. 
which we only have them in Eastern music. Uh, again, especially India, Turkey, and Arabic countries, and Iran, actually. But we don't have it in um, Western music. Maybe you can hear a little bit of that vibe, a little bit, in jazz or in blues when, when singers are going to, to sing and using a little bit of blue note for the flat fifth, they, they can give you that vibe just a little bit, but not exactly like using microtonals here. In blues, actually, we go for microtonal bends. We bend the strings to reach to that microtones. But uh, apart from that, no, um, we have it as, as, as a fret here. Well, this instrument is two and a half octave, which uh, it has 28 frets. And when we say 28 frets for two and a half octave, it means that we have a lot of microtones here, which allow us to play modal music here. So this dashti has microtone in it as well. In Persian traditional music, we call them sori and koron, which um, sori uh, is a little bit uh, more than an actual note, and koron is a little bit less than an, another actual uh, tone. Well, we only, I guess, have uh, one sori and maybe four or five korons. Well, uh, that's a little bit technical. We don't need to know that, but. Let's get to the let's get to our instrument and and play a little bit with it. Uh, this is called Dashti again, and there is this famous song Karavan from Qulam Hussein Banan, one of the greatest, actually the greatest uh, singers in Persian traditional music history. And I will put that link in the description as well that you can just listen. One of the most influential Dashti of all time in our country. Let's do it. <laughs>
Well, um, hope you liked it. That was a little bit of Dash I improvised for you. Uh, we have a lot of technical talk in Persian traditional music. Um, it's a very old music and, and there are a lot to talk about it, which I have plans to, 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 to tell you more about it and to play other other scales like Mahur, Sega, Charga, Homayun, Esfahan and other uh, singing modes like um, Afshari, Bayotork, and all, all these names, I'm, I'm, I'm going to just uh, describe them later as well in separate videos um, to, 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 to maybe pay my dues to introduce this very beautiful instrument to and beautiful music to, to other musicians as well and to, to composers, maybe they can use it later in their, in their original songs which I do it as composers as well, using Eastern flavors in music, which makes it um, a lot more beautiful and uh, different from, from musics in the world. Well, just let me tell you uh, one more thing here and we can end this video. Um, this note here, which we call it uh, La Coron or uh, La is for A, well, in uh, Italian terminology we, we use La or, or in uh, Spanish or in Persian. Uh, La Coron or A Coron. Well, we only use this note in descending. Well, if you use um, notes like this, um, the different notes in ascending, you're going to change all the mode and the feelings and the scale that you're using. Uh, actually, we have this form of thing in melodic minor. Uh, the ascending is different from the descending. But um, if you just use it in ascending, you're going to... This is shur, uh, a very different mode here. Actually, dashti is, is coming from that uh, scale, but it's different. Well, if, if you want to add the dashti flavor into your music, you have to use it in descending, um, which going to be like this. Again, in descending, we're not using that, only in descending. See? Again, we're coming back to our main note. Something like that. And even in one octave lower than that, we go for... See? And only in ascending, uh, we go, and in, in the descending, we go. Again, we get back to our um, normal note, uh, actually the main A. Thank you so much for this video. Um, thanks for watching, thanks for uh, having that enthusiasm of, um, listening to this music. Hope you just click on, on the music from Bolon Hussein Banan and listen to one of his beautiful, one of the most memorable and iconic music in all our history. Thank you so much. See you later.